What up my dudes, this is Train Man here, and today I just got the American Patriot, the Fang D slash Quang D one. Yeah, I finally got one, thank goodness. And this basically will go with my other GIs, because it basically has a guitarist mech, but it's just a flag. It has Arnold face, <laughs> but the legs are like split and I gotta fix them. God bless America! Alright, so first things first, what you gotta do, obviously, is you gotta have the right tools. So I suggest using a smaller, like, uh, Phillips head. You're gonna need a Phillips head, that's very important. You may need a soldering iron just as a standby tool, because the wires can come off of these. So, I just have, I just say, have that on standby. And if you do have a soldering iron you're gonna need solder so that's that so next you basically next you basically do is you open up the base which is pretty simple although i suggest obviously taking the batteries out because i mean obviously that's like key and as i said this is just a basic tutorial how to fix any jazz player like mechs in general so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew the screw here. The first one you go for is the the base screw that's in the battery compartment. So basically, you just unscrew that. And if you have small fingers like me, you'll probably just be able to grab it like that. So, if your screws together, they can fall out. So I highly suggest you keep them all together. Basically, what you do, the very first thing you have to do is take out the... Um, drive belt because that is keep that keep that aside along with the screws because you're gonna need that and the next thing you're gonna do is have to unscrew these here so you have to unscrew the base by these four screws so we're gonna do that in a second so as you can see now that you've got the gearbox pulled out and I almost forgot to mention you also have to unscrew the flange style screws and it's um these style screws. These are flange screws. There's going to be different sizes on the jazz, these jazz players, but these are the flange screws. And these are basically where the leg cranks are, and you got to unscrew both of those to ta basically take the gearbox out. But yeah, after you've done that, make sure you push the leg poles up so they're out of the way. And the next thing you got to do is, uh, well, I got to, I guess, turn to listen to that gear. That is a unhealthy uh, gear. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pull one of these leg cranks out. It shouldn't be too hard because, I mean, there you go. That that was pretty easy. Next thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to unscrew five screws and the one screw on the opposite side of the gearbox. So you got to unscrew these, uh, these to get into the gearbox. And just be careful when you're doing that because the gears can fall out. So I highly suggest you be careful with that. So we're going to do that real quick. All right. So after you're done removing the uh, side of the screws of the gearbox, then you have the 10 tooth, which is connected to the shaft piece. As you can see, this is the shaft piece that goes onto the legs and that basically moves the drive belt with the shaft. And uh, right here is the ten tooth, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is in fact split. That you see that you see how the metal shining through there. That is a split gear. We have to replace that because that is very important. So what you do is basically take this, slide it off the shaft. Shouldn't be too hard, but yeah, there you go. Any spares? Make sure you have spares. Because that's extremely important and crucial in this repair. So, but yeah, as you can see, I have a whole, I have a whole bag of ten teeth, or ten teeth, and as you can tell, it, it is, it is in fact a ten tooth. It's just a little bit smaller, but this is the ten tooth we're replacing. This is the broken one. So we're gonna eat that one aside, 
and put it to the shaft. All right, so as you can see, I have the gear on the shaft. So basically, once so once you have the gear on, you basically just need to put the gearbox back together. And of course, as I said, if the wires do come off, um, make sure you have a soldering iron just on hand in case they do come off. So basically, what you got to do is you got to make sure all these gears are properly aligned. Basically, what you do is you put dish back on. You make sure you align all the holes on the gears. Oh, listen to that satisfying noise. Fixed gearbox, my dudes. So yeah, after that, you got to put the screws back in, like crank, and screw it up. And now, basically, once you have everything uh, screwed up and ready to go, uh, basically, you just, just position the legs upward, because that's important. And then, you lift a man up. And make sure all the wires aren't peek it, pop, popping out or anything. And now you go to the bottom and then just screw everything back in. But yeah, as I as I've said, you just basically gotta finish screwing up everything. The base is all screwed up now. There's the legs. See that? There's the legs, there we go, see? Works. Works every time. But yeah, that's how you fix the legs. Sway mech is splitting too, so I'm just gonna do that off camera. But if you wanna know how to like fix a swaying mech or whatnot, I think AJ's tutorial on the Jazzman is actually a pretty good one. I highly recommend it, but yeah. It's how you fix the legs on any sort of jazz player.